Hi, kitty cats. It is Friday, October 25th, 2024, and that means it's time for this week's Dose of Transgender Joy. You can trust me, it'll be more demure than Ohio. So, piece of joy number one. The LGBTQ Victory Fund reports at least 18 out transgender candidates are running for office in state legislature this election cycle. Now, hearing this news gives me hope that introduction of anti-transgender legislation will begin to slow down. I'm a little bit concerned at the use of at least in this report. So just to set the record straight, Ron DeSantis' boot lifts only indicate gender dysphoria. He's not actually transgender. Hope that helps. So I am joyful to see the next generation of politicians begin to exercise their leadership. We are all counting on you. Piece of joy number two. The Trevor Project reports LGBTQ mental health suffers in states that pass anti-transgender laws. Suicide attempts increase by as much as 72%. Now, I know this doesn't sound very joyful. The report was peer-reviewed and accepted for publication in Nature Human Behavior, which is one of the top English language scientific journals in the world. That is important. So I am joyful this data is being taken seriously by, like, actual scientists. In conjunction with the next generation of politicians, maybe we can see some real progress in how gender-affirming care is handled in the future. So, piece of joy number three. A video published by the organization Gender Research Advisory Council and Education highlights politically conservative parents who wholeheartedly support their gender-diverse children. Now, one Republican parent named Rick Colby says he can't understand people who don't support their gender-diverse children. In his words, he's just doing his job as a parent. Now, I am joyful for any parent who supports their gender-diverse child, especially in light of the frightening statistics reported by the Trevor Project. With the help of new leadership in state legislature, the U.S. can, as Rick Colby puts it, transcend political ideology for the safety of our children. Well, that was your weekly dose of transgender joy. I will see you next week. Bye!